a friendship umbrella. And I'm doing this a group activity in Creando Para Ellos Facebook group where I was asked to create an activity for the month of March. So we'll be making a friendship umbrella. And I looked on Pinterest and I saw some ideas which I liked. But I wanted to change them up a bit. And so this is what I came up with. For this project you'll need two pieces of paper. And I'm using this one and I, I get this one in Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's I think lost and found. And on this side it has this design. And on this side it has the flowers. And I'm going to go with the flower design. I already prepared this one for time's sake, but I'm going to do this one with you so that you can see how it is that I prepare them. You'll need a scoreboard if you don't have one. If you don't have one, you can measure and mark where you need to crease your paper. So I'm going to be doing, if I'm not mistaken, I did half an inch on on this on yeah half an inch I did so it would be every half an inch you would make a small mark probably down here in the bottom this is if you don't have a scoreboard I'm just telling you you still could do it and so it would be a half an inch mark all the way till the end then you would take it and you would crease it along those marks and the outcome should be this which is every half an inch. I measured eight and a half and I cut it there. So I'm going to cut it here at eight and a half, not to have it too, too long. And then I'm going to score it here now at eight and a half. And I'm going to cut this piece. And let's start creasing on the longest side I'm going to be creasing at every half an inch okay And I left this one to do it with you, just in case someone hasn't done this before. So you know how to do it. Obviously, it's a lot quicker to do if you have the board. But it's not impossible to do without it. And then, we'll stop creasing and I start my first one facing in. Facing in. And you'll just go back and forth with this. And this is really a fun project, uh, but the one I want to make with you today is actually this one. The handle with flowers. I have these um, different little tags on the inside. Flowers and bling and all sorts of stuff making it look pretty. And it ends on a base, so it literally stands up by itself so the person could use it on a display. If we're talking about inspiration, I would have to say that Pinterest did inspire me. This is almost done. And if you let it go, it just wants to open up because I have to pass the bone folder a couple of times. But you're getting the jits of it. It's all about managing the paper a little bit. And once you make one, I think you're going to like them because I really enjoyed making it. And here I am doing another one. And by the way, this is my first tutorial. So please be kind with me if it's not the best. I am trying. Really careful with the paper not to get more paper cups. I'm just trying to get it into shape a little bit so that I really do like the creases. Do you remember this one? 
that I just showed you. You see how the creases are, are very, very clear here? I like that look. I'm thinking if I'm going to say I'm making an umbrella or if I'm giving you an umbrella, try to have the creases. Now that the two of them are done, and here's the other one. Now what we're going to try to do carefully is intertwine them because we're going to glue them shut together only on the bottom. Let me just make sure that goes in properly. Yes, you see how perfect they go inside of each other perfectly? That's what you want on the bottom before you start gluing because this is going to stay like that. You can use your glue of preference. I can use this one, but because it's paper, I'm going to go with this one. Or glitter, and it dries clear. So does this one, it dries clear. So go with what you would feel more comfortable with. Just make sure it's a glue that's not going to come apart because the whole base of this project is done and held in place with the glue. And you're just putting a little bit on the bottom to keep it shut down here. And at the end, I will glue just this seam and this seam the two corner seams, this one and this one, I'll glue those shut, leaving this open because inside we're going to put tags and whatever else we'd like to put in. As long as it's not too big, it'll be fine to put it inside. I'm just holding it a second to dry and this will take a few minutes. I'm going to go inside each one, has to be each one, and glued. So now I'm just going to proceed to keep gluing and gluing and I have uh, a clip if it will hold them that'll be good just to let them dry a minute I'm gonna want to glue up the side here so I could probably flip it while it's drying and just get the side done it's the edge that's the only one you're doing on that all the way up I just want it to seal well, as well as possible, of course, right? And then I'm going to the opposite side, and I'm going to glue this side. And let me gather that thing. I think this is grabbed on very well. It looks like it's really good. Okay, let me see if here, if we've stuck on good here too, and we have. It's stuck on really good. Now, I'm going to get uh, a piece of twine. I think I go with the white and the gold. And this is uh, twine. I got this one in Target. Let me put it in here again. Now I'm going to proceed to glue these little parts together to seal it. And once I seal it, I'm going to wrap this twine around it and tie a knot and it will stay there. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Do you see down here? You really can't tell. But under that lace, the twine is there. Why am I doing that? To make sure that when I open it up here and I enter things in, that it doesn't open down here from the pressure from the top and then I want to make it stand up so I'm going to be using this and it's really just a, um, an acrylic flower it happens to fit perfectly on it and then because it's so cute it looks really nice you'll just look for something that you could put this base onto it and it could rest on it with some glue 
we're gonna start gluing all of these shut there we go and I'm gonna get the twine and wrap it around and anything that's seeped out is fine because that'll just grab the twine on so a little bit seeped out and I'm not even worried about it because I'm going to grab the twine and wrap it around. Oh, it came loose on me, but I'll just wrap it again. No worries for that. To make a knot. You want to secure this. Get a little piece of trim. And this one had little pearls on the bottom, which I think look really nice. So, the idea is I'm going to face it up and just put it right over. You see how it's going to look? It disappears the twine. And now I am going to use the glue gun. And uh, just place it right over the twine. It's going to make that the twine more sturdy. I'm just holding it to dry a minute. Be careful with the hot glue. My fingers kind of don't feel anything anymore. But uh, definitely it's hot. And I'm just going to put it right over here. Giving it a minute to dry before I let it go. And that gives it a nice look. I just like the, the little sequence. It's a little shiny. So I'm going to work with this. Let me hold that a minute and I have to stretch this out a bit. It can't be so closed up. On both sides. Okay, so now we have the two sides done What that pretty lace. We're going to open it up in the center to start making space 